Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to this creepy ass weird ass game that is creeping me the hell out, gives me goosebumps and scares the ever living fuck out of me. Welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. My name is Aiden Blaze and you should fucking help me get through this game. So, please help me, give me salvation. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that good shit that nobody does, nobody cares, because nobody watches my videos anyway. So, let's move on with Monica. Okay, everyone, we're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today, if so, so if everyone could come sit with me in front of the room. Is this about a festival of sort of? We really have to do something for the festival. It's not like we can put anything together in just a few days, we'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's gonna concern our mind as well, and really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much, we're going to keep it simple, okay? Look, uh, I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since Aiden joined and we're started with some club activities, but this isn't the time for us to become complacent. We still only have four members. And the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? We really have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just mean everything go, uh, gets noisier and more difficult to manage. That's okay, I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can to inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? Yeah, bitch. The literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. Wait, excuse me? So intimate that you never want to leave? What? What? No, I want to leave. Bitch, if, if, if between joining and, and if I join and never leave and, and just leave and never come back, I'd rather never come back. Right, Zayden? Uh, come on, you can't take advantage of Zayden to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica, do you really think that any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? We really never talked until Zayden joined. As for me, I just uh, like it uh, better here than I do at home. And Zayden isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's so interested in finding new members. Okay, Natsuki, bring the fire, calling Monica out. Let's go, I like it. I like the passion, I like the fire in your words, in your eyes. Let's go. But the music stopped and I don't like that because that means something creepy is about to go down. Something's gonna scare me and I don't like that. <laughs> Please. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're pissing and all, but you really should consider our opinions for once. Dot dot dot. Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Dayton want to get more members too, right? Dot 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 dot. I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. So if it's up to me to rescue the situation. Um, no, Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club is something more than a place where a few people can hang out. I don't think that anyone here saw it uh, in the same way as I did, but that doesn't mean that we're against uh, getting new members or anything. Zayden, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, there's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. You weren't even given a... Uh... Monica sits down and starts to stare at her desk. What's the point of all of this anyway? What if, what if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. What? Me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. Yuri is right. And Natsuki is half right. Yes. She wanted to express her opinion using the words she chose. And she just and she was honest with her opinion. That's of course her complete right to be. I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't there aren't many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking a, away anything. No, Zayden, it's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other super club. But this one, I mean. At least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Natsuki starts picking up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki ignores, Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out to the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, me neither. Do you have an op- <coughs> What the fuck? Do you have an opinion on the festival? I don't know. I'm kind of 
even different, I guess. What? What the fuck? This came too suddenly, game. Please, what the fuck? What the? Why the close up? Why the face? Why the glitching of the corner of her head? Why? Who cares about that obnoxious brat? I care a little bit. I mean, I like. Her. And just like the wind, it went away. Why <laughs> must you do this to me, game? I like how nice and quiet the club is right now, and I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president, and it's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities. Like, nobody would care if she killed. What? No, Yuri, no! What the fuck? What the fuck? God, what the fuck? What do you want to get out of the club? I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along and for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. You also will end up making the literature club a special place. What? What? I... What? Game, what are you doing? Hey Yuri, uh, I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president, and also a wonderful friend. I don't believe you, Monica. I know what you told to me about Yuri, and I know you are a piece of poo-poo as well. Okay, me too. Yeah, let's get it home for today. We'll, uh, we'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay, look forward to it. Shall we go? Please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Zane before we leave. Just to see what he thinks uh, of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. But she doesn't protest. Okay. Trust your judgment. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew, things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Zane, I just want to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. Oh no. The music stops, the, the background is getting all grainy and stuff. This, this is gonna take a wrong turn. This is gonna take a su- Is it just me or is the background getting darker? And I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. Uh, with how mean Natsuki is and everything, and Yuri being a little bit, you know. Ha ha ha. Sometimes I feel like you and I are the only real people here, if you know what I mean. But it's weird, because in all the time we've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Uh, I mean, I guess it's... Uh, technically only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why... Wait, wait not yet. So even she noticed the way it's abruptly cuts into the poem. Even... Even the fourth wall, fourth wall breaking Monica notices it, and she's like, "No, wait, bitch, fuck, no, this day." You saw that, right? You saw the little, uh, the little thingy jumping up, at, uh, like underneath Natsuki. I saw it. I saw it. You saw it too. You can rewind- you can rewind the video! I know you can! I know you can, you saw it! I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to- uh, Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, not okay. Excuse me, must you always interrupt my conversation with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just uh, wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry, seriously. What's gotten into you lately? Me? Nothing. Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I'll get over it. It's not even a a anything over me. I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. 
and I don't need and I don't need to talk about it. Uh, we don't need to talk about. it. What do you mean you've been you feel you've been feeling on edge lately? You you have the edge on you, the knife edge, the edge of the knife, the pocket knife. It's not like you really care anything. Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Well, Zayn just walked in too. Are you uh, per uh, practicing pen again? Yeah. <laughs> there must be a lot of uh, determination starting this job and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Okay, that's the same as usual. You said that we would like to support the festival as well. However, I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all kind of feel that way. So as long as we're all working together, this club will never become something that we don't want. Also, if you help us with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. Ooh, that 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 is a good, that is a good bribe, Yuri. That is a good bribe. I would take that as well, happily. Sorry, the last part was really funny. Look, I did some th uh, thinking about yesterday. It was a little more hostile than I meant it to be. I guess you really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we've done together. Uh, another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the, the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know. So I'm gonna help you and I'll make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Oh, uh, yeah, that's wonderful. It won't be the same without you, so he Anyway, Zayn, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... Uh, we already have plans today. Uh, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Zayn is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I suppose I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes! Oh, thank you for... I want you guys to know, I did not click when that yes appeared and Monica's... Monica's... Yuri's face changed to that uh, huge-eyed like happy grin whatever that was automatic okay that that stuff happened on its own it's just yuri being yuri hiding her true self in the flash of an eye i'm not crazy okay i know what i saw you saw it too actually i have a request do you mind if i make some tea first not at all Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make you that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Your stands up makes the very close for watching the two small water pictures on the shelf. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Okay, we've been through the water picture thing, through the tea, tea making. Uh did you really leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry to uh, sorry for misunderstanding. Yeah, no problem. Ten minutes passed. You said it won't take long. There's something holding her up. I'm bored, it's really curious. I decided to go look for her. Let's see, the most logical place for you to be one would be the nearest water fountain. Oh, she's cutting herself again. Uh Yeah, hi again. Hello. And sands of time. Oh. Screen, can you? What the fuck? Ex what the fuck was that? What the what? What the fuck? Help me! Help me, Lord! Wait, how, how did I? Sorry, I just ha had a really weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before, and right? My head has been uh, feeling a little fuzzy today. I hope it hasn't been showing or anything. I would hate for you to think I'm weird just after we started spending time together. I mean, everyone has a few unusual things about them. Okay, okay, okay. Let, let's get this straight. Does Yuri have the time rewinding powers or Monica? Because this is giving me the sus, kind of. And, and... I, I, are, I'm not sure which, are they both for, for fall breaking? No, o only Monica has been for fall breaking so far. Yuri has to, ha I think Yuri might be having the time control powers. 
But expressing those things as soon as uh, as soon after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable. At least that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would have come on really strong and get a little too intense. But many people want to be around me. So I started hating those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies and the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could ever like me for the things that mattered most to me, then it's just easier if I close myself off. But recently something's been wrong, I don't know what it is, but every time we come to the club my heart starts to go crazy like it's going to rip out of my chest. It overwhelms me with energy and emotion that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening. They, why, why, why does the music always have to cut off? Is it just me or has Monica been acting a little off lately? She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. But recently I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? I mean, yes, you are crazy. 100% crazy. But the thing you mentioned about Monica, no, that's real. That's th That part is not crazy. That, that, uh, that, that paranoia you feel, yeah, that's, you're right to feel that. Okay, Yuri, okay, are we on the same page here, Yuri, please, please, help me help you, help me help you, Yuri, okay, help me help you. Please tell me I'm not, you're, you're, I couldn't say anything before because she's always listening, but finally we're alone. Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah. But I just want to stay here. Okay. Have you noticed how our character does not say a single thing towards any of this, what's happening? Just the two of us, we can stay here until the club ends, and then we'll start the club room, we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. Ahaha, uh, that was a joke. Just a joke. Wait! Monica, you're inserting yourself again. I can see you. You're opaque, but I can see you. I do like knives, though. It sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand uh, if you've never seen how beautiful they can be. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? The more I click for the, for the text to go by, for the next uh, dialogue box to pop up, the more Monica becomes less opaque. And more in the forefront, as you can see more of her now. <laughs> I can show you my collection. I've gotten them all from various art artisans. I, ma uh, I make sure to give them all their fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the literature club, Layden. Now we don't need to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. Every day. It's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the literature club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Not to mention the other pathetic child. We can walk home together every day after school. And read together. Eat together. Sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate fate that we could meet each other and now we get the happy ending that I've patiently uh, wanted years for will you do that with me Zayden hello there Monica you're dangerously close yeah and now she's completely covering everything Yeah, well that just happened. Hello, Monica. Don't say I didn't warn you, Zayden. What? What do you mean, don't say I didn't warn you? I have the option to skip. Finally. Ahaha, <laughs> Yuri holds my palm to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Zayden, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it, please? Sure, I don't care. Haha, <laughs> you're too nice to me, Zayden. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my phone to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. 
I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. Well, that's a bit sexual, don't you think? I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Well, that's a bit gross. <laughs> you can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it! Thank you for the atmospheric music, developers. This is all incoherent babble I cannot read. But it has blood stains on it, and I know I don't know if this one in particular, I don't know if that's juice or pee. And I'm scared to find out. What what Yuri, could you back the fuck off? Uh, we don't we don't need to be like inches away from each other. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about that. It's about that. More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. Which of your scents? See, aren't I the most thoughtful person? That what the fuck was that? I think I'm going to vomit. Yeah, you do that. You do that, Yuri, you do that. What? You gave your poem to Yuri? Gross. What is with you two? Huh. It's not like I wanted to read it anyway. It just pisses me off a little bit that you didn't even think to show me at all. Ugh. Okay, I guess I'm going to show my poem with you anyway. I really hate that I have to do this, but unfortunately I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? Then you can go away. I don't know how to, uh, else to bring this up, but there has been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kinda strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She'll always be quiet and polite and attentive. Things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her, but if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happen. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please, if you can, do something to help. I don't know. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about it. It's like she just wants us to ignore it, so I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this, just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you, thanks for reading. Natsuki, you wonderful normal person who uh, isn't glitching the fuck out. Thank you for pointing all of this out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. I can't. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Zayden? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. You know what this reminds me of? That one song PewDiePie uh, sang. Hey, hey, Monica. Hey, party, Monica. Just Monica. Hey, it's the... Never mind. No. Happy thoughts have... Why? Why, game? Why must you do this to me? Why? The destination is coming foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. I don't like this. Okay, this is festival preparations, but without Sayori. I don't like it. What the fuck? 
If I, if, I, if I go with my mouse above, above to, to, to this threshold, to the threshold of Monica's option, I don't have the, mo the mouse moves itself. What the fuck? Why, hello there. <laughs> hello there, floating pair of eyes. Yep, you picked me. We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. It's Sunday, okay with you? Sure. Um, I'll, I'll meet you there. So everybody, say goodbye to Monica. Okay? Make sure she gets a nice goodbye. Okay? So she can remember all of you. Okay? You can also, like... Uh, I don't know, like, comment, subscribe and all of that, okay? See you all later, peace, please. And, and, and this scary horror, horror game. Bye.